My first stop at this year's Jacktown Swap Meat and Flea Market was the food pantry table. The Portland Food Pantry serves over 426 families. They will be collecting donations at every Jacktown show. Okay, now let me take you on a quick walk through the flea market.
Scoutcrafter had a meetup and raffle at the gazebo at 10 o'clock. Scoutcrafter's gang, look at them all. All right, everybody say the magic word. There you go. All right. I found these items in the three for a dollar bin. I was mainly in the bin for these two chisels. But I figured, why not find two dollars worth? This is a very thick scraper. I figure I can modify that into something someday. This is a much more pliable putty knife. Got a nice wood handle, brass pins. This is a heavy square shank screwdriver. Another candidate for modification someday. It's marked uh, JC Penny. And these are the two chisels I was after. These are Stanley number 60s. They're actually not in, not in real bad shape except for the rust. I mainly want them for modifying into tools for my mini lathe. Then I dug around the box and found this at the bottom. This is marked Herbrand number 375. And this is one of those screw starters. So now I have three of these in the collection. One more New Britain. I believe New Britain held the patent on these. This one's marked Mac. And then, like I said, this one's marked Herbrand. These Lewis utility knives were a dollar a piece. I like the spring-loaded guard. These take a funky blade. And this one doesn't sound like it has any blades in it. This one has a little bit of a different design. And the, the guard is, is broken. The spring's missing. However, I think it has blades in it. Let's find out. Looks like I got three good blades. So they say once you have three of something, you're officially a collector. I guess I'm now officially a collector of Lewis utility knives. These two Imperial pocket knives were a dollar a piece. This one's a Camp King. Unfortunately, the main blade is pretty much smoked. The other blades seem okay, though. I like the looks of this one. I like that logo right there. It's got its share of uh, corrosion. That might be a good project. I was pretty happy about finding these two items on the two for a dollar table. These are Kreuters. I think that says 1801. The cutters still look good. I really dig the embellishment on the handles on these. And this is a champion screwdriver. I'm trying to collect as many of these as I can find. The wood's, the wood's seen better days. You see how that furl is like a two-piece furl? That's how you can usually pick them out. 
It has a unique shaped handle. I was really happy to find that. I decided to take a chance on this drill. It was only a dollar. I was attracted to the brand name Mall. Mall drill. There's your model number up there. I asked the guy if it ran. He said he wasn't sure. What do you think? Think we should give it a try? All right, I got it plugged in. So far, no fire, no smoke. I'm not electrocuted yet. Let's see how it goes. Well, it looks like it works. I found a vendor selling vintage diecast cars for two bucks a piece, and I couldn't resist. Got a couple Batmobiles. They're both marked Corgi Juniors, 1976. The black paint on both of these is in really good shape. Batman's intact. A lot of times these are messed up. They're still in good shape. I noticed these two cars are identical, except one has a larger red bat sticker. I'm not sure if that means anything to collectors or not. Does everybody recognize this car? I'll give you a hint. It's missing a white stripe right here. That's the Starsky and Hutch car. That's also Corgi Juniors. A lot of times this siren is gone. So I thought that was good to get one with a siren on it. I guess this was Hot Wheels, you know, answer to the Dukes of Hazard General Lee. It's called the Dixie Challenger. And this one's got the plastic bottom. Again, I don't know if that makes it less desirable or more desirable. I like to come home from Jacktown with at least one perfect handle screwdriver. And this time I, I didn't have any luck until I got to Scoutcrafters meetup. My buddy Dave gave me this chuck sized little gem. I think it's marked. That's going to be tough to see. I think it's marked Germany. And it's tiny. Chuck loves it. Thanks, Dave. Also at the Scoutcrafter meetup, my buddy Brian let me take this home. I've been wanting to work on a draw knife. Thanks, Brian. A gentleman at Scoutcrafter's meetup gave me this cool pokey thing. It's Mark Dunlop. I like the shape of the handle. I don't remember your name and I want to thank you properly. So please leave a comment. Let me know who you were. Jacktown is always a blast. Scoutcrafters meetup might have been the biggest yet despite the dreary weather. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Decal. I gotta see that decal. I was on his printer and I was able to put it on, match the paint.